If you're wondering whether to decide to go with Topaz AI or Luminar Neo to edit your photos, you're in luck because in this video, I'm gonna be showing you both side by side, comparing their performance, their features, and their price so that you can pick the best one that works for you coming up. First, I just wanna prove that I'm using the same photo in both softwares, this really poorly shot photo of a Pelican flying. It's out of focus, it's blurry. I wanted to put it to the test to see if these softwares could really do what they promised to do. Let's start in Topaz AI. If we come over here to what it's kind of touted with is removing noise from this photo. I shot this at a very high ISO, so it's really noisy in the background and on the bird too. If we just do a simple tap to remove noise, you can see that it's easily removed the noise. If I do the before and after slider here, you can see how much noise it's actually removed from this photo. Now you do have tools over here of how much strength you want to include in that noise removal feature or how much de-blurring you want in that too, either raw normal or raw strong. Now, now if you're wondering what all these tools mean and you want a deeper dive on Topaz AI, I did a full review of how to use this tool. If you click or tap the card showing up on your screen right now. So it did a pretty good job. Let's go over here to Luminar and go over to the noiseless feature extension here. And I do a just medium amount of noise reduction. Now it does take longer to remove noise than Topaz AI, but not that much longer, probably just five to 10 seconds longer. And if we look at it, you can see that it has removed the noise. I can do the before and after slider on this photo too and just slide this back and forth to see how much noise that is actually reduced. Now I think both are pretty equal with their features on how to remove this noise. So strength and minor de-blur on Topaz AI. And if you go over to Luminar Neo, you have luminosity denoise, which is a cool feature, details and sharpness. So that's a pretty good one to use. They're really kind of neck and neck here. I think Topaz AI actually did a little bit better of a job removing the noise, but I think that Luminar Neo does a little bit better job in having some extra features to help you fine tune how much blurring you want in the photo versus how much noise you want in the photo. So you can fine tune it more with Luminar Neo versus Topaz AI. Let's look at the sharpening feature because on Topaz Photo AI's website, they tout that any blurry photo can really be made better with their sharpening tool. I wanna find out if that's actually true because I've never found one that's really do a good job. So if I go to sharpen, I can go to standard, strong, lens blur, or motion blur. Standard doesn't really do it for me. It looks a little bit fake and it's still pretty blurry. If I go to strong, let's see what that does. That does a little bit better of a job removing the fakeness of this photo, but it's still very blurry. If I go to lens blur, a eh, little bit better. And if I go to motion blur, which is what actually is going on here, it does kind of a poor job because now the wing looks really fake and the bill is a little bit more in focus, but overall, this didn't do a great job. Let's head over to Luminar to see if it does even better of a job. Let's go reduce that super sharp and let's go to motion blur and I'll do high just to see what this does. Now, again, it takes longer in Luminar Neo to do it and I have the fastest Mac that you can buy right now on the market. So it does take a little bit longer of a time. You wanna wait a little bit and then go back to the photo. So here's what it's done with the motion blur. And while I think it has done a little bit better of a job than Topaz Photo AI, I still don't think it's great. So I think the moral of the story here is nothing is actually going to get your subject looking as good as it would if you actually photographed it in tack sharp focus. So use that continuous autofocus feature on your camera when you're photographing something like birds, even though it can kind of lose it sometimes. But if you're doing landscapes, I think definitely focus in manual focus to get that tack sharp focus. Now, if I go to crop here, it's pretty much the only feature in Topaz Photo AI that allows you to make adjustments to the photo. And why that is, is because this is basically designed as a Lightroom plugin. So if you talk about Topaz Photo AI, you really probably should be using Lightroom or Photoshop to edit your photos anyways, and use this in conjuncture with it. If this video is answering a lot of the questions you had comparing these two softwares. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any other videos that are gonna help you out too. That's vastly different in Luminar because even though the Super Sharp didn't work very well, I have all these other features to make the photo better. So if I go to Crop AI, I can just adjust this, bring it down and make my crop in this the same way. And now I have all these other features that I can use to enhance it. Enhance AI, I can bring up the accent on this, develop, I can increase my exposure, increase my contrast, highlights and shadows. I can play around with this photo, all these tools I can use to edit this photo in Luminar that just aren't available in 
Topaz Photo AI. So that's a huge check mark to Luminar. Why? Because I don't like going back and forth between two softwares to edit a photo. I want everything packed into one to make my life as easy as possible because I want to get back outside and take photos, not sit at my desk and scroll through different platforms that I can to edit my photos. Now let's look at price here. So Topaz Photo AI at the time of this video costs $199 to buy, which I bought to make this video and review Topaz AI and compare it to other softwares. Now you can see it's in conjunction with Photoshop, Lightroom, Capture One. So all these photo softwares you already have to own and then buy the $199 of Topaz Photo AI, which is kind of a pain because you're spending more money than you really need to. I like to keep my money in my bank account. If I go to Luma, and check the price, I can see that I have different options here. So I can save money by buying 24 months at a time for $621 per month and build $150 every two years. And I get that for cheaper than I would for just buying Topaz Photo AI plus buying all the other softwares that I have to use in conjunction with it. Now, obviously you don't have to do the 24 month plan. You can do 12 months for 825 per month, or you can do one month for 1495 per month, whatever plan you decide to buy, they're all cheaper than what you have to spend on Topaz Photo AI. And I think they do a little bit better of a job. Now, there is a caveat here when we're talking about these noiseless, super sharp and AI features. If you go over to your catalog, you can see all these over here, HDR merge, focus stacking, upscale, panorama stitching, and of course the super sharp and denoise features. Those are actually plugins that you have to buy from Luminar to use. So the good thing here is you can pick and choose which ones you want to use and save money doing that. But the downside is, is you still have to buy extra stuff on top of that with Luminar. They would probably be a lot better served if they added all of this to this one single platform. Now, even though you do have to buy those extensions, I would still probably go with Luminar because you get more out of it than Topaz Photo AI, unless you're just sold on using something like Lightroom, then I think Topaz Photo AI would be a great option for you. But if you want everything in one package, Luminar is probably the way to go. Now, if you wanna take a deeper look at Luminar, I have a link below that you can check that out with. I'm not sponsored by Luminar, but that is a link that does give this channel a little bit of a kickback when you do decide to purchase it to help us out. Hey, if you found this video helpful, go ahead and click or tap this card showing up on your screen that's gonna bring you to another video that's gonna help your photography out a ton. See you next time.